Hi, this is Saurav from Project Nomad and today I want to share the backstory of David and his Neelba, the feature length documentary that we made a year back. So the story goes in a, in a very interesting way. Uh, it was the year 2020 and I was going through uh, some YouTube videos and I stumbled upon one video from Arvind Guptaji. Uh, I follow Arvind Guptaji very closely for last few years and uh, I stumbled upon one of his video where he was talking about a very unique school um, which was very liberal in their thought process and unique uh, culture, unique teachers training program. So the way the video ended where Arvindji said, you know, uh, there is a very less documentation of this great school uh, which used to exist in the, in the, in the 80s. And uh, it is very unfortunate that there is no filmmaker who created a story on this. So th somehow that, that particular sentence touched my heart um, and I decided to write an email to him. I remember it was uh, post dinner time, it was past 10 o'clock in the night and uh, I went to his website and I took his email ID from there and I, I wrote him that uh, I'm an independent filmmaker. I'm not sure how uh, I will take this project by, but I wanted, I really wanted to take this uh, opportunity to make something out of this story. And within few minutes, I got a beautiful reply from his side where he expressed a very deep happiness. And he said that, you know, uh, he is very happy that someone at last has come up with the idea that there needs to be a film on David and his work. And he immediately shared a few of the links to different articles and uh, a few names uh, with whom I can connect later and explore the story. So this is basically how I stumbled upon the story and the idea came that we need to have a, a film on David and his work, that is his school, Neil Bagh. Um, after that, uh, there was a thorough research. I tried to connect with a lot of people. I uh, went to the internet and I looked for all the available information about the school and his life, uh, about how, you, how he started the school, why he started the school, and also about his uh, life's journey and all. Um, so later on, uh, because of the COVID time, uh, you know, there, there were a lot of uh, issues with traveling. Uh, I remember we, we almost planned our travel to Karnataka because the school was on the borders of Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. But somehow because of the second lockdown, we had to cancel all our plans. We kept a constant update on our social media and we, we got a very good response from all the followers, those who follow us on social media and they supported us in all possible ways. Uh, we raised crowdfunding. We did a crowdfunding campaign where we raised some funds which were our actual expenses for the project. We also asked for different kind of helps like if someone can help us stay in and around Bangalore, uh, in and around Andhra Pradesh. Uh, and we also asked for transportation help. We also asked for, you know, help us connect with uh, the students, uh, the people who took uh, teacher training, uh, from that particular school. And somehow he also connected to uh, David's son for permission and all those things. And we got a very good response from each and every one. Uh, I remember when uh, uh, me and my cameraman was going to Karnataka finally after the lockdown and after canceling our tickets and all, uh, we were not sure ki how many people are going to, you know, come in front of the camera and talk about the story. And we were not sure, you know, how many students and how many people who took the teacher's training program uh, will come on board uh, to share the story. But somehow uh, we shot the film in a week's time. 
we went to the school which is right now uh, is, is a different school um, under uh, NGO but we got a lot of help from the principal of the school who took us around who showed us the campus how uh, everything used to be in the times of David we also stumbled upon uh, one of the oldest student who was at that time visiting his uh, uh, home uh, in the village and once we connected with one of the students somehow the miracle happened and we connected one after another to uh, different students who were a part of that school uh, uh, a big thanks uh, needs to go towards uh, amukta mahapatra who was uh, helping us on behalf of all the uh, students she collected a lot of people who were a part of that school and they all came to her house where we interviewed everyone and somehow we recreated uh, that era very little bit because not much is available of that time so whatever was available we tried to recreate that with the help of the current uh, uh, faculty of that school and also the students from that school helped us to recreate that era we also took help from artists who were sketch artists to sketch out few of the uh, few of the imagination which came out from the interviews and with all this kind of help and everyone uh, came voluntarily that is the most important thing this is uh, indira ji so chali chalte chalte baat karte hain so you have been a very important part of this project uh, nomad ka jo abhi ka jo story tha neel bag uh, can you share your experience on that i feel nobody is important as such everybody it's a group uh, effort i am in fact excited i was excited and even now excited to see the final documentation so much of learnings so much of bondage and uh, yeah it's like you i should thank you for giving me an opportunity for supporting this and uh, that's it not everybody can support this project so i am happy that we got this opportunity to support you and will always continue to support this kind of projects i will request radha so to talk something about you know her journey uh, in this story just when you were coming i was also here and i just joined i tagged along and uh, I don't know it's just happening and I, I think the more and more I'm getting involved in this it's it's about it's becoming about what can I do in the field of education now what is it that I need to build what is it that I need to create what uh, of course with a lot of people and with a lot of support and um with a lot of learning I've just been learning and I'm overwhelmed with uh, the kind of information and the kind of learning that we have received So thank you sort of thank you so much for <laughs> this whole uh, involving me even so yeah and being so open <laughs> to just let me do what i want to do the the help came directly from the heart and it can be felt throughout the film uh, we were overwhelmed to see the kind of help we have got and none of us imagined that you know when i was when i started uh, the idea of making a film at that stage none of us were sure ki you know there will be a time when we will see a complete picture of the story but somehow uh, uh, the entire process of pre production the research the reaching out and the production went for few months and it took 3 4 months to edit the film but after 6 7 months when we had the film in our hand and when people started to watch the film they said this is one of the best pedagogical approach or pedagogical documentary film made on our school and i think that is a great compliment for all of us to keep carrying on this kind of a work so that's the story behind david and his neil bag in a very short way i will try to uh, uh, come up with more videos so that you can you know understand uh, what kind of a effort has gone behind making this film thank you so much Yay! Mm. Final shot, huh?